<laughs> this is the truth. Like, I killed the main guy, Ryan killed the most, but our hero of the movie is our five-year-old girl, which is kind of awesome. Why didn't Sean get more kills? The, the, this is something that I've wondered. You know, I just watch the movie. <laughs> Andre has the well, see, same question. Well, see, you know, there's, there's a question of how many kills Rudy has, but that's a whole other, you know, thing. <laughs> but um, I don't count implied kills as real. Um, <laughs> you know, Horace kills the gill man. Ryan kills everything else. Uh, but I killed the main guy. So it evens out. But did it's, you? It's quality. Did it's quality over you? quantity. I mean... He got sucked into the vortex. Which, 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 which was I was responsible we, for, actually. Right. <laughs> no, you're responsible for the whole thing. <laughs> and this is, this, this, is, all... this is the truth. Like, I killed the main guy. Ryan killed the most. But our hero of the movie is our five-year-old girl. Which is kind of awesome. That is true. Do you ever wonder what Dracula was up to, like, in the intervening times, like the hundred years or whatever? Because he shows up. And, and, and this is really just off the top of my head here. <laughs> as a fan of this. But he shows up, and it looks like he has had some, like, Votech training because he knows how to, how to wire... Uh, a dynamite, you know, to the wall. He's got some some cables in his cane to to bring Frankenstein back. He's uh, he's driving a car. Like he seems like a very modern man with some training. What? what where's Dracula been? Like where did he go to college? <laughs> what, so what, kind of, what kind of training has he been up to? Maybe he was in a band. He was like Lestat. He was like <laughs> <laughs> like in San Francisco. He was just in a band. Just very curious. He's like, what time is it? I feel oh, like, it's time to end yeah. the world. I think he's just been waiting for the hundred years. Yeah, so he's been waiting. He's around. been preparing. It's like I'm gonna need a car. Yeah, okay, I should get one with you know fangs and a, uh -huh. a skull. Well, our Dracula in this off off the top of your head is this is one thing that wished that we don't see in the final thing. They got Dracula at the beginning of this movie. They stake him and he's dead. And then Van Helsing and they go up into the castle and do the. The you know read the spell and open up the vortex to suck in all the bad evil, but they have Dracula in a wagon, and of course they leave like the red shirt to guard the body, and this is where one of my favorite payoffs it's it's Rudy's scene at the end with the three vampire brides, he's sitting there at the campfire guarding the the staked Dracula, and they come out of the woods to to their master, and he's like oh. Oh, and he walks up, and he shoots one of them with his crossbow, you know, wooden bolt, and then he stakes the other one. This is very similar. It's the exact same scene. And then the other one's on him and choking him, just like Ryan at the end. And he's reaching around, and, and Sonny's out of, and he grabs the stake, and goes, oh, and gets her, and he's like, I made it. And then Dracula sits up in the wagon and goes, and this, in the crawl, they blew it. That's how they blew it. And so he escapes, they do limbo, but Dracula escapes because he got let he got unstaked. So now he's alive again. So he's been wandering around for a hundred years, in your you know in your world, like learning how to drive a car and like how to do you know basic like hot wiring and <laughs> you know he read Benjamin Franklin's book on you know connecting to clouds and <laughs> electricity. So uh, he had a hundred years of modern stuff to learn because he's yeah. walking around Earth, Just doing some training, doing, doing some yeah, he's, sucking he's, some blood. He's, he's trying to yeah stay alive and level up. <laughs> 